Hello everyone, it is Mary here. Oops, sorry, you can see that. Um, but I wanted to show you how I take my makeup off and like my nighttime skin routine. So let's just get into it. So first, obviously you're seeing me with a face full of makeup in my bathroom. And I'm to like take off my makeup. I was out of this, but um, I use some type of oil or cleansing milk. Like the one I got to replace this was the Garnier Skincare Smoothing Cleansing Milk. Uh, but just some type of makeup removing oil or milk is what I like. This Burt's Bees one is pretty good. I would have gotten it again, but they didn't have it in stock at me Walmart. That's where I get most of my skincare products. So. Um, so, just take this and literally rub this all over my face into my hairline because I put makeup in my hairline or my eyeballs and my jaw right here that's such a good look right then I use a washcloth or rag, I call them rags, to take this off with just um just to wipe it off. What I like about using the washcloth is you can get ones with like um little exfoliating fibers on them and then you can exfoliate your face very gently every day. Okay, so then to actually wash my face, I use one of these silicone scrubby things. And the face wash that I've been using is the Milk to Foam Coconut Milk Pure Mild Cleanser from Neogen. Um, I never use the same thing twice in a row because my skin always gets used to things. And I also don't use like specific acne treatment products the only acne treatment product that I actually do use is my face scrub in the morning it's got salicylic acid in it but I don't use any spot treatments or anything like that just because it dries out my skin way too much And I got these um, in a two pack at Walmart for like two or three dollars. So much cheaper than a Clarisonic. Or like one of those face cleansing brushes. And it doesn't clean as deeply as those do, but it does. Um, it cleans a lot more deep than just your fingers.
and then I just use the other side of the washcloth and I take this off. Okay. Now I'm going to take a cotton ball and some witch hazel. I just used the Walmart brand witch hazel. Use this as a toner. I love the way witch hazel smells. Just to um, get any last, like, oil, bacteria, makeup that I missed, like around my hairline. See, there's a lot of makeup I missed. Because I get lots of breakouts in my hairline. Then I let that dry. And if I'm going to do a face mask, um, which I do one like two to three times a week, um, this would be the time that I did it. And then I put my moisturizer on, which I use sweet almond oil. It's probably supposed to be meant for your face, but all that's in here is the almond oil, so I don't mind using it on my skin. And it just really moisturizes it. And I just put a lip balm on. So before I go to sleep, this one is Live Fearlessly from Arkansas Blue Cross and Shield. I think this has SPF in it too. Yes. SPF 15. Huh. Cool. And... That is everything. I hope y'all enjoyed. And um, if you're wondering, this is actually how I wear my hair to sleep to preserve the curls Well, that I'm testing out. I've been doing this for a couple of nights, seeing how it goes. So, and it's working pretty well. I just used one of these claw clips. So, all right, this is everything, guys. I will see you later.